sorry, and I am Rizzle the Rat. Welcome to the Muppet Theater. <laughs> Tonight, we bring you fables of old. Old what? Old, just old stories. What, we couldn't afford new? No, I mean, oh. yes. Listen, these are old stories everybody knows and loves. I don't know, seems like a scam. I mean, you buy a new tape and you get old stories everybody's already heard. Oh, will you be uh, quiet? Our first story is that great old classic, The Three Little Pigs. Oh. Come on in. Come on! Hey, what get old me, pig. Hit the walls! Once upon a time, in a lovely little cottage, there lived Andy Pig and Randy Pig and their sister, Sandy Pig. Oh, you mean the three little pigs. Precisely. The three little pigs lived with their father, Papa Pig. But that was soon to change. Come in. <laughs> Andy! <laughs> Randy, oh, stop Daddy. that! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> now, today's the day you boys go out in the world and build homes of your own. Ooh. All by ourselves? Out among the wolves? Now, now, you have nothing to fear. You are strong, smart boys who can take care of yourselves. <laughs> oh, we know yes, that, Papa. Daddy, but... but... Uh, what about our sister, Sandy? Uh, yes, she is just a girl. That's true. So you two boys must take care of her. <laughs> That's Sandy, the third little pig. You call that a little pig? <laughs> I heard that, Buster. Sandy, dear, you must get ready to go. Oh, Papa, I am ready, but, but first, I want to show you some drawings. Huh? You see here, Papa, these are Moi's plans for a state-of-the-art brick house, incorporating high-tech security systems there, you see, designed to keep away all predators, especially wolves. Mm -hmm. Well, mm. isn't that cute? It's a picture of a house. <laughs> well, don't you worry, darling daughter. Your brothers will take care of you. Yeah, yeah we'll that's take right. care of you, Sandy. Sandy, we will. Mm -hmm. And so the three little pigs went out in the world and built homes of their own. Andy's home was built of straw. Randy's home was built of sticks. And Sandy's home was a state-of-the-art brick house incorporating high-tech security. I'm right, they got it already. <laughs> boys, 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 boys! Your house of straw over there, and, and this house of sticks, well, they will not keep you safe when the wolf comes to call. Ha! We have nothing to fear. No, for we are strong, smart boys who can take care of ourselves. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, come come on. On. Oh, far down. I cannot believe those are Moi's brothers. That very night, as the three little pigs slept, each in their very own home, the wolf came to call. Oh, how quaint, a house of straw. <laughs> Hello? Little pig, little pig, let me come in. <laughs> Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll yowl, and I'll howl, and I'll soil your towel! Uh, no, that's not right. Uh, uh, that's it. Oh, yeah, this is better, yeah. <laughs> then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down! <laughs> Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's the wolf. Randy, Randy, Randy. Boo. Oh, Randy, it's the wolf. It's the wolf. Randy, let me get it again. Whoa. Ah, a house of sticks. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on our chin, chin, chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. I told you. Hmm. 
pigs in a blanket? Why, thank you. I believe I will. <laughs> oh, Teddy, please help oh, us. Teddy, please let us in. Teddy! Oh, can't a girl get a decent night's rest? No. What the oh, earth? Oh, oh, oh. Ah. Whoa, a brick house. Oh, yeah? Well, you're no junior petite yourself. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Cindy, dear sister. Please save us from the wolf. Mm -hmm. oh, oh, from the wolf? I couldn't. I am just a girl. No, 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 no. no, no. You're just as strong and smart as we are. Stronger. Smarter. Hm. Yeah, much smarter. No comparison. We are just numbskulls. Nitwits. Chocolates. Chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right, enough. You can stay, but on one condition. What is that, Sandy? Hey, if you want me to listen when you talk, there's one little thing you better recollect. And if you want me to open when you knock, brothers, you better show me some respect. Show her some respect. Not just because I'm pretty. Show her some respect. Not just because I'm cute and witty. Show her some respect. And then you'll find there's so much more. Ah, show me some respect. And then she'll open up the door. Uh-huh. Now, if you want some wimpy, sort of simple-minded dingbat, you can talk about the dimples on her chin. But if you want a girl who's going to be your friend forever, better show her that you know where it begins. As it opens, better show you know the moi that lives inside. If you want her to open when you knock, brothers, you better show me some respect. Show her some respect. Not just because I'm rich and famous. Show her some respect. Come on, don't you be no weak and ramus. Mm -hmm. You gotta find this more and more. Show her some respect. And then I'll open. Show her some respect. Not just because I'm cute and witty. Mm -hmm. You're gonna find there's so much more. Show her some respect. And then I'll open up. Open up. Open up the door. The very next morning, by dawn's early light, the wolf came calling again. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in! Ahem, <clears throat> you're supposed to say, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin! Are you suggesting that I have facial hair, furball? Uh, no, I only <coughs> meant that. Oh, 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 ah. All right, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow the house down! Got to be a better way. We show them. Quiet, 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 quiet. There's someone at the door. You be sorry, Sandy. Sandy. A pizza man. Ooh, oh, look. It says extra cheese, onions, anchovies, mushrooms, bell peppers, and chocolate kisses. Mm. Was favorite. <laughs> and where? Uh, Despite these setbacks, that wolf did not give up. In fact, he devised his most dishonest and despicable plan. You are too kind. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! It is I, Santa Claus, with presents for three good little pigs. Ho, ho, ho! Oh, oh Santa's, Santa's coming! Presents! Yeah. Hooray! 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 Christmas is in December. Uh-huh. And this is the middle of summer. He's, He's early! early! He's, He's early! early. Oh, 
Hey, and it's early. They couldn't be Moi's brothers. Cream summer. Cream summer. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. A girl's got to do everything around here. Uh-oh. Blast off! Ah! I hate it when this happens. Ah! Mm. Ooh. Where's Santa going? Will he be coming back? Definitely not Moss Brothers. As you can see, the three little pigs lived happily ever after. The end. Say, I wonder where Rizzo went. Hey, 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 you want some popcorn? Yeah! I don't want popcorn a rat's been sitting in. Well, hoity-toity. <sighs> Besides, it is not polite to eat in front of all these people. Well, excuse me, I just happen to love popcorn. I can't get enough. <laughs> well, you know, Rizzo, too much of anything is not good for you. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm glad you asked, because that's what our next story is about. By the way, could you tell this one, I am the star? <coughs> Hello. Oh, well, excuse me, Mr. Brando. <clears throat> our next story, ladies and gentlemen, is the story of King Midas. Now, once upon a time, long, long ago, King and Queen Midas ruled over a kingdom that was never at peace and always a little short of cash. <laughs> I wish we had peace in the world. Hmm. I wish we had more money. Alas, their kingdom remained poor and in turmoil. <sighs> but then, one fine day, King Midas was strolling in his garden when he spied a sleeping satyr. Uh, excuse me. Oh, Ma, five more minutes, I promise. <laughs> Ma, you're all green. I'm not your mother. I am King Midas, ruler of this kingdom. Who or what are you? I am a satyr, half man and half goat. Well, listen, Mr. Satyr, you seem to be sleeping on my royal roses. Hmm? That is an offense that is punishable by death. Guard? D d death? Wait a minute, you gotta be kidding. Death for sleeping on roses? Gee, I hate to see what you guys do to litterers. Hmm. <sighs> well, perhaps the punishment is a bit harsh. Harsh, I'll say. Hey, wait a minute, let's make a deal. Supposing you don't kill me hmm? and I grant you a wish. A wish? A wish. Any wish you desire. Come on, what do you say? Hmm. I wish that we had peace money. in the world. Money? Money! The King Midas wishes for money. I do not. Shh. OK, what kind of money do you want exactly? We've got dollars, drachmas, francs, rubles, pounds, baubles, trifles, gold, gems. Gold, 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 gold! Very good. Yeah, gold, gold. We've got gold braid, gold shoes, goldy locks. Uh, no, wait, that's another story. Oh, no, no, yeah. no, no, and no, then no, there's no. golden rod, golden touch, Golden them are hills. Wait, 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 go back, go back, go back. Uh, Goldilocks? No, no, the other one, the other one. Uh, Golden Touch. Yes, yes, Excellent Golden Excellent choice, touch. excellent. But, 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 Queen Midas, I really wanted to wish for peace in the world. My dear, my dear, hmm? this is a chance to make this kingdom rich beyond our wildest dreams. But there are some things that are more important than gold. I think your crown's on a little too tight. Can we speed this up? I left the bathwater running. We'll take the Golden Touch. Yes, You yes, got yes. it. Okay, just call me if you need anything at all. <clears throat> Oof. Hmm. Okay, uh, where's the ripple dissolve? Where's the special effect? How does this golden touch thing work? <gasps> ah! Look, 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 look. I, I touched this rose and it turned to gold. It's ruined. Ruined? Oh! Mighty, don't be foolish, my love. We're rich, Mighty, we're rich. Everything you touch will turn to gold. Ah! Oh. Hey, <sighs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, look, he's changed my head into gold. Gold can't buy all the blue and green skies. And what's more peaceful than green? If you know what I mean. I do. Hmm? Don't you know we've got the finest touch? That golden glimmer at the slightest touch. 
Than gold. Listen, Buster, don't you love the polish and the luster of the Midas Touch? No, wait. There's nothing finer than the Midas Touch. Oh, please. Don't be a whiner. But gold is so cold and chilly. Don't be silly. Kill the Millie. The Midas Touch. Can't stop it when the world is in your clutch. And don't you drop it. Take these lousy millions and make bazillions with the mighty magic Midas Touch. It wants to be a real golden mm. cow. Mm. I do not do cows. All right, everybody mm. out, everybody out. That's enough for the King's Fingers and Tires. That's it. Everybody out. That's it. That's it. And no cows. Okay, I'll come back. Oh, there, there, darling. You must keep up your strength. Eat something. All right. Oh, come along. Now settle down, dear, please. And have some fruit. Ah, I can't take this. Ah, oh, oh no, Mighty. Oh, my king has turned to gold. Oh, oh, Mighty, are you in there? Can you hear me? Hello? Ah. Oops. Yes, the king had turned to gold. Now Queen Midas had all the gold she wanted and a big, big problem. What are you staring at? Dance, dance, dance! Uh, uh, how's your day, dear? Uh, oh, really? You don't say? Uh, 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 your people, dear. Uh, 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 He's got such a lovely golden tan. I hear he uses a sun lamp. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> As a statue made of gold, King Midas just wasn't the same fun-loving monarch. So the queen sought help from her royal advisors. Help! 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 Ah. First came the royal doctor. Doctor, doctor, huh? do you think you can turn the king back to normal? No, but oh. this should keep him from tarnishing. Hey! Help! Yeah. Then came the royal yes. jeweler. Nice workmanship. I'll give you three fifty for the whole frog. And finally, the royal jester. <laughs> okay, here's a riddle for you. What's King Midas's favorite vegetable? Twenty-four carrots. Get it? Twenty-four carrot gold. <laughs> Queen Midas had lost all hope. She realized there was only one more thing left to do. Where's that Seder? Uh, uh, hey, yo, Seder! Uh, uh, where are you, Seder? Uh, uh, hey, goat boy! What is it? Uh, I was about to bathe. Thank goodness. Uh, uh, hey, look at him. Oh. I get sentenced to death for bending a few rose petals, but oh, the king, he lounges in flower beds. You see, that's what's wrong with a monarchy. Knock it like, off! Look, this golden touch thing just, just isn't working. What seems to be the matter? What's the matter? The king has turned himself to gold! Oh, I can see where that might be a problem. I will do anything to bring back my kingy. Oh, please, 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 oh. help me, help me. Please, 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 please no please. groveling. Oh. I can bring back the king <gasps> if 
and you're gonna love this part if you will. You are joking. Nope. Either that or you've got yourself a world-class paperweight. All right, all right. Here goes. I do not want any gold. Oh, come on now. You really gotta mean it. All right, all right. I do not want any gold. Love and friendship are more important than all the gold in the world. <sighs> Oh, my queen, Seder, look, I am rid of that accursed golden touch. Oh, my Oh, queen. Oh. Listen, I'll tell you what. You two have been such good sports. I'm going to give you one wish for free. Oh, oh, Seder, you are too kind. Uh, with this wish, I wish for peace. And all the a slice of matic A slice of matic Yeah, you know, uh, one of those fancy food thingies that slices, dices, makes julienne fried potatoes. And we have it in stock. In avocado green? Of course! <laughs> ooh, isn't it marvelous? Ooh, ooh, wow, can I try? After you bathe. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> And so, King and Queen Midas and the Seder used a slice of medic to throw fabulous dinner parties for everyone in the entire kingdom. And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs> the end. Psst, Rizzo. Well, hello, goat man. Never mind that. I can't get these stupid goat legs off. Will you tell the next story, too? You got it. And now the story of the boy who cried wolf. Oh, oh no, I'm in that one, too. <laughs> Once upon a time... <gasps> Once upon a time, there was a young shepherd who, in addition to missing his kill, Rizzle! sometimes had a tendency to overreact. What, what was that? It felt like... Huh? An earthquake! An earthquake! An earthquake! to do about all these earthquakes? What? Yeah, yes. The poison isn't safe! You yeah. want to do something? We pay our taxes! Yeah. Yeah. Wait a second, I didn't feel any earthquake. Did any of you? Well, then how did all this earthquake nonsense get started? What? I should have known it was you, Shepard. You simply must stop overreacting. If something bad were to happen, no one would listen to you. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor. It will never happen again. I promise. Uh, okay. All right. Thank you. I'm sorry. So, uh, anybody want to have lunch? But then, the very next day, while washing his socks... Hey, I'll see now. I'll just have to hang these out to dry someplace. Uh, oh, that might be good right there. Let's see. Yeah, I'll get the sun there. That's a... Well, that felt like water. Water? You know, that I... felt like water. I think water hit me. That could be a... A tidal a, wave! A tidal wave! What? A tidal wave! A tidal wave! get tidal waves here? The nearest ocean is thousands of miles away. <sighs> oh, good grief. I should have known. Come on, everybody, let's go home. Uh, but wait a minute, if it had been a tidal wave, y'all would have thanked me. You know, but if it had been. Now, one day, not too long thereafter, the shepherd was tending his sheep. Um, uh, got any threes? Go no. fish. Uh, Got room for one more? No, sorry. Maybe next hand. Uh, you know, say, wait a minute. You're a wolf. What are you doing here? Huh? <laughs> You're kidding. Oh. You're here to eat my sheep? Wolf! Wolf! 
Wolf! Come on! Wolf! You think calling Wolf is gonna do any good? Wolf! Now listen, I'd skedaddle if I were you. About a million mean townspeople are on their way to get you. Uh, Wolf! <laughs> Wolf! Who are you kidding? Wolf! I've been watching you. You've sounded so many false alarms, nobody for a hundred miles will believe you. Uh... Oh, really? Yep, no one would come if you cried wolf until you turned blue. But I already am blue. Hmm? Oh, true. Well then, tell you what I'm gonna do. What, what? I'm gonna give you 24 hours to get some help. Why are you giving me 24 hours? I thought the story could use an increase in dramatic tension about now. Oh, oh, well, thank you very much. But wolf! Wolf! Listen, I'm sorry, Shepard, but you've cried wolf too many times. You've betrayed our trust. We simply cannot believe you. But, 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 Mayor, I can prove it this time. Who do you think you're fooling? Yeah, right, sure. Oh, brother. I guess the sky is falling. Hey, we've heard it all before. You pulled the wool right over our eyes too many times with all your lies. So who do you think you're fooling? Yeah, right, sure. There was the flood. And then the earthquake, the monster fur balls, the giant snails, the attack of the trees, and then the quicksand, the million ticks, and the killer whales, the talking shoes, the walking bushes. You had us running from a hundred foot cow. So tell us how, when you inflict us, do you expect us to listen now? We were born yesterday, you know. Do you think you're fooling? Yeah, right, sure. I guess the sky is falling. Hey, we've heard it all before. You pull the wall right over our eyes too many times with all your lies. Who do you think you're fooling? Yeah, right, sure. There was a time when we believed you. Now we have to disagree. You're making it up, but now we're smarter. Go away now, let us be. Who do you think you're fooling? Yeah, right, sure. I guess the sky is falling. Hey, we've heard it all before. You pulled the wool right over our eyes too many times with all your lies. So who do you think you're fooling? I'm not trying to fool anybody. Yeah, right. Who do you think you're fooling? But if you, if yeah, you only right. listen to me, who do you think you're fooling anyhow? <sighs> I am just trying to tell you that there is a wolf out there. Yeah, right, sure. Ah! Oh. <sighs> well, I tried everything, but I guess the mayor was right when he said that my overreacting would get me into trouble. Yeah. I'm sorry, my little woolly friends. Yeah. I tried to save you, but I'm a sham of a shepherd, not even fit to carry this crook. Oh. Goodbye. <laughs> well, it sounds to me like the uh, shepherd has learned his lesson. Yeah. This is probably a very good place to end the story. Yeah, especially <laughs> before we get into any gratuitous violence. Yeah. Yeah. End the story! Yeah. Yeah. And they all lived happily ever after. But despite the protests of the sheep, the story was not over. Oh. Aww. In one hour, the wolf would return mm -hmm. just in time for mm -hmm. lunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh. Say, I've got an idea. What? What? Mm -hmm. You guys remember my cousin Norman? Mm -hmm. On your mother's side? Yeah. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shepard, mm -hmm. looks like no one believed your cries for help. Uh, it's true. All those false alarms reduced my credibility to zip. Mm. Well, then, sounds like it's time for me to wolf down some lunch. <laughs> yeah. Little predator humor. Well, uh, <laughs> excuse me, Mr. Wolf, mm. but, uh, big sheep. What? Big sheep. Ah, come on now, Shepard. <laughs> what makes you think I'm gonna fall for that silly tactic? Well, because it's a really big sheep. But that doesn't make any sense. What do you mean, really Whoa. big sheep? Nice going, Norman. Mm. Uh, 
Oh, that's what you mean by really big sheep. <laughs> Norman, 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 Norman. And so the shepherd, with some help from the sheep and their really big cousin, Norman, saved the day. The mayor gave the shepherd a medal. For not crying wolf except when an actual wolf was present. Yeah! The townspeople and sheep rejoiced, and everybody lived happily ever after. Well, almost everybody. Uh, you, you can get off now. No. <laughs> <laughs> The end. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time when you'll hear Rizzo say... Uh, when do we eat? Later, Rizzo. Right now, it's time to polka! <laughs> <laughs>couldn't afford new? No, I mean, oh. yes. Listen, these are old stories everybody knows and loves. I don't know. Seems like a scam. I mean, you buy a new tape and you get old stories everybody's already heard. Oh, will you be uh, quiet? Come on. Hey, okay. Excuse me. Hey, Hit the wall! then, I believe it's my turn to tell the story. Once upon a time, in a far away kingdom, there was a rat engaged in a rather dubious enterprise. Ladies and gentlemen, step right up. I am here today to tell you that Rizzo's curative elixir is good for what ails ya. But don't take my word for it. No. Let me randomly select someone from the crowd to demonstrate this fine, fine product. Uh, choose Let's me, see, choose uh, me, uh, me, uh, me, 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 you, me, 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 Choose me. Uh, who, me? Yes, sir, step right up. <laughs> Now, sir, have we ever met before? Well, sure, you're dating my sister. Uh, uh, oh, I said, ow. sir, have Ooh. we ever met Ooh. before? Uh, no, stranger, you are a total stranger whom I've never met before this moment in time. Absolutely. Ooh. Now, sir, Ooh. I happen to notice that you are lame. Well, not really. It's just because you stepped on my foot. <laughs> ah! Oh, oh, yes, I'm lame and I'm in great pain. Yes, yes. Mm. I don't know, something doesn't seem quite right here. Oh, nonsense. Rizzo's curative elixir cured my baldness. See, I have this thick, wavy brown hair, and all I have to do is feed it cheese once a day. Uh, but, sir, that's not hair, that's a rat. A what? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, after that. Rizzo! Uh, and Scree! Uh, the jig is up! Uh, uh, hey! Uh, I'm bald! Uh, this is an outrage! Uh, Somebody uh, arrest that rat! Uh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I 
that's all for today. Goodbye. Uh, I'll be, uh... Stop boy. right there, Rodin. <laughs> I'll arrest you in the name of Emperor Fuzzy of Fuzzalia. Oh, yeah, what's the charge? For being a charlatan, a phony, and a quack. For committing fraud, chicanery, and subterfuge. Oh, that. Yeah. Hey, 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 where are you taking me? To Emperor Fuzzy. He knows how to deal with scallywags, ruffians, and ne'er do wells. Mm -hmm. What'd you do? Swallow a dictionary or something? Uh, hey, but I wanted to buy some. <laughs> well, wait, wait, I'm, not fin I'm not finished yet. No, so the bear said hyperventilating. I thought you said hibernating. Now laugh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, my slippers. Yes. I want my slippers. The royal slippers, oh, okay. Zaya. Great. Here, let me show you something here. Ah. Ah. <gasps> what do you guys think, huh? Oh, oh yes. Yeah. 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 It does. Oh, looks for me. Ah. Yes. It, yes. it makes me so happy. <laughs> I just want to go pop, 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 pop. Excuse me, pardon me for asking this, but why is everyone wearing their shoes on their ears and going pop, pop, pop? Oh, well, you see, the Emperor is wearing his shoes on his ears mm -hmm. and going pop, pop, pop. Yes, <laughs> the Majesty is certainly a trendsetter, isn't he? So, so wait a minute, wait a minute. So what you're all telling me here is whatever the Emperor does, you guys just sort of go along with it? Oh, right! Yes. Pop, pop, pop. Your Majesty, Your Majesty, we have a scallywag in our midst. Right here, right here, right here. Hello, Your Majesty. Now, before you pass judgment on my unworthiness, I must say those are lovely slippers, and wearing them on your ears is very, very smart. Too bad the rest of your wardrobe is so shabby. Can you say that? Oh, no. Shabby? What do you mean, shabby? Well, Your Highness, your wardrobe is very nice, but it just isn't special. <gasps> Not special? Nope, but you're in luck, because, Your Majesty, I happen to be the finest tailor in all the land. What a coincidence! What a coincidence! Yeah. Yeah. What a coincidence. Hey, 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 I want a great idea. Could you make me some new clothes? Oh, well, Your Majesty, I can't afford to go oh, around. Afford? Afford? Oh, no problem. Yeah, we got a lot of gold and jewels oh. hanging around the oh, palace. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. why didn't you say so? Yeah. OK. You go find the gold and yeah. meet me in the royal dressing room for a fitting. Over there? OK, fine. Oh, boy, oh, boy, I'm oh, glad you oh, showed up. The feeling's ah. mutual. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, right. <laughs> I haven't seen a never like this you since OK, neck. Neck is, a uh, 15. Neck 15. OK, ankles. Ankles are, um, 3. Ankles 3, neck 15. All right, OK. You, you, you certainly are thorough. Hey, you bet. Now, are you sure this is all the gold and jewels you got? Oh, yeah, every last bit, yeah. Good, because now we can get started on your new clothes. Oh, really? <laughs> well, tell me, what sort of fabric will you be using? Well, huh? at this very moment, my colleague Montague is at the loom weaving the very finest fabric in all the land. <laughs> uh, but, uh... Yep. But there's, uh... There's nothing on the loom. Uh, but... But, Your Majesty... Where? <clears throat> Uh, this is special fabric that can only be seen by elegant people such as yourself. Uh, uh, see it now? Oh! Oh! Uh -huh. Oh, of course! Oh, yeah, well, it must have been the lighting over here. I'll start oh, over yeah. here. Oh, there it, must it have been is! The lighting. Yeah, yeah. Yes! Oh, <laughs> nice stuff! Well, Very yeah. sheer! Mm -hmm. A roll cart! Yes, roll cart! Yes, 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 yes. Now, what, what do you think of the fabric for my new clothes, huh? It well, uh, begging your pardon, Your Majesty, but uh, I see no fabric. Uh, uh, well, perhaps you are not elegant enough to see such fine fabric. Ah, your king can see it. Ah, yeah. uh, yes, oh, yes, that fabric, <laughs> lovely, very sheer. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I knew you'd sheer. like it. I knew you'd like it. You <laughs> certainly are marvelous tailors. Well, thank right. you very much, but after all, Your Majesty, you deserve only the very best. Me? As a dresser, you're accosted. You have gone from bad to worsted. You need more than tweed. Yeah. This is guaranteed. Deport the local silk and satin. This crease batiste is from Manhattan. Lose this lousy chintz. Yeah. Sell it to a lowly prince. You've you gotta, gotta shine with finery incomparable. 
Anything less than the best would be unbearable. Terrible, I get it. It's you. It's you. It's so completely you. It is? No fluff, no cuff, no stuffing. That's great. Believe me, it's nothing. Oh, it's true. It's you. It's so completely you. No seam unsewn. No flaws inside. Hey, that's real chenille, not naga high. It's, it's true. And nothing's too good for you. Ah, hey, it's me. It's me. Only foolish fools can't see. Us fools from upper classes Don't need bifocal glasses To see, we see Your royal pedigree These diamond studs and golden threads These paisley pants will knock them dead The sheer veneer of polished chrome The texture of true spider foam Braided brocade and treasure twill It's been a thrill, man, here's the bill well, we too good for me. Ain't it the truth? <laughs> these jewels, these jewels. Oh, how we fooled those fools. The scam was so idyllic. <laughs> that bear was imbecilic. <laughs> We're rich. We're rich. This life is such a stitch. <laughs> Nothing fits so perfectly as clothes for those who cannot see. What's true? <laughs> Nothing's too good for you. <laughs> Nothing's too good for you. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's too good for you. Oh, yeah. Nothing's too good for us. <laughs> I hope you guys are pulling up there, because I feel like I'm working my tail off in the back. I got to hit it to you, Chief. Uh, you really outdid yourself this time. A mere bag of shells, my dear Monty. Uh, you? Uh, Where? Uh, well, if it isn't my royal tail, is, uh, and where are you going? Uh, we were just, uh... Well, we, we, were, uh, uh we were, uh, looking for you! Yes, right, we were looking for you because, uh... uh like new clothes already? Because your new clothes are ready, exactly! Oh, 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 oh yeah. where are they, where are they? Well, they're, uh, they're, uh... Pop, 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 pop! Right over here, right over here. Uh -huh. where, yeah, where, yeah, where, where, uh, here they are, right here on yeah, the table. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gee, isn't it kind of small? Uh, no, no, no. It uh, it uh, gets bigger when you put it on. You yeah. idiot! Would you get in that? Oh, oh, I see. Lovely. Uh, uh, well, Saya, it's been a real pleasure. We better get going though, because yeah. we got a big job go. over in Tarzana. Well, yeah. Nonsense! What? Nonsense? No, I'm going to have a big celebration so the uh -huh. entire kingdom can admire my new clothes. Yeah. And uh, you will be my guests of honor. Oh, uh, uh, gosh, that's uh, nice. Boy. But uh, we really gotta get yeah. going. Yeah, no, 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 no. Huh? Then we will have the celebration. Celebration right away. Bailiff! Uh, Bailiff, uh, you'll take uh, good care of my friends uh, here. I'm uh, gonna go change! Uh, yeah, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Rizzo, what are we gonna do? Yeah, what? Just watch the master work. Yeah. Uh, excuse me, everybody. Uh, pardon me, over here, please. Now, in just a moment, the Emperor is going to parade by in his new clothes. Now, now, listen, I should tell you all that these clothes cannot be seen by the dull and uncultured. Right? Oh, 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 yes, yes. I had no trouble seeing them. Mm. They were grand, mm -hmm. splendiferous, yes. magnificent, yes. glorious. Oh, looky, looky. Oh, 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 but gosh, the Emperor isn't wearing any clothes. Uh -huh. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean, Robin? <laughs> well, Your Majesty, I guess you just forgot to get dressed. Oh, no, no, pay no attention to him. He's obviously just a dull and, and uncultured youth who cannot yeah. see the fine cloth. See yeah. what I mean? Oh. But, but wait, but, but, no, but, but wait, but Robin is, <laughs> is one of the brightest lads in the kingdom, right? Thank well, you, yes, Sire. that's true. That's true. true. And, and that means if Robin can't see my new clothes, then that means I, I must be... Naked! Oh, 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 cover me! Cover oh, me! Oh, cover oh, the king! Oh, cover oh, the oh, queen! Down, everybody! Everybody, please, please! If the emperor is naked, then that must mean that that is the new style. Therefore, everyone, 
kicked off your duds! Oh, no, wait, 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 no, 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 no! Please don't take off your clothes, please! I think it is time that you stop doing things just because I do them. You should learn to think for yourself. Oh, cover me, cover yourselves. me. What a novel idea! Oh, I'm so glad he thought of it. And, uh, and speaking of thinking for ourselves, let's get out of here. Oh, ow! Sheesh! What? Sheesh! Oh, rats. That's right, you're coming with me. No, let's go. No, Come on. No. And so, the Emperor and his kingdom learned that it is best when you think for yourself and follow your own fashion. And as for that rascally band of rats, they live happily ever after while serving 10 years in the palace dungeon. Yeah. Uh, Just 10 years? Hey, it'll go by like that. Oh, uh, Monty, Monty, how long has it been so far? 12 minutes. Oh. Okay, look, here's the plan. When we get out, I hear there's this sultan who is so <laughs> gullible. Uh, what? What? You, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, hey, Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time when you'll hear Rizzo say... Uh, when do we eat? Later, Rizzo. Right now, it's time to poke <laughs> Can't believe I'm dancing with a rat here. And I am Rizzo the Rat. Welcome to the Muppet Theater. <laughs> Tonight, we bring you fables of old. Old what? Old, d d just old stories. What, we couldn't afford new? No, I mean, oh. yes. Listen, these are old stories everybody knows and loves. I don't know, seems like a scam. I mean, you buy a new tape and you get old stories everybody's already heard. Oh, will you be uh, quiet? <laughs> Come on, hey, get to Okay. Excuse me. the Once upon a time in a faraway kingdom, there lived a sad and lonely king who wanted to find a fair young maiden to be his queen. Oh, loyal royal advisor, are you there? At your service, oh sad and lonely king. Um, um, can you get rid of this echo? Oh, it's, depressing. it's depressing. Can echo anything else, sire? Yes, find me a fair young maiden to be my queen, someone who is special. Well, now, special's not really covered in my job description, and... and... if you succeed, I shall reward you with your very own castle, which... Which is why I must find you someone special. <laughs> hmm. 
And so, the fairest young maidens in all the land came to the castle in hopes of becoming queen. Okay. Good, good. Yeah. Next! So oh, here we go. Come on. go. What's so special about your daughter? Well, she can swim through a boat filled with alligators. Very impressive. Next! <laughs> oh, Daddy! I cannot believe you dragged me here! Oh, now, daughter, don't you want to show the king how special you are and become his queen? Well, of course, but what is so special about me? Hmm? Besides charisma, beauty, and a fabulous singing voice. Uh, well, we'll think of something. Next! <laughs> My daughter can gurgle to the tune of Beethoven's Fifth. <laughs> how charming. Next! <laughs> I am Miller, and this is my daughter, Piggy. Yes, yes, and what's so special about her? Well, she can, um, uh, well, uh, once she... Uh, I don't have all day. Uh, Bad uh, uh, She can spin straw into gold. I can what? She can what? Well, she can spin straw into gold. Daddy, hmm? are you out of your cotton-picking mind? You must meet the king. You know that I don't... Mind if I do? <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't push the light. Daddy, Quiet. you're embarrassing me. Oh, oh, cheer sorry. up, your royal highness. Have I got a girl for you? <gasps> oh, I, uh, I, I, I am the, uh, the, uh... The king. You're the king. Oh, the king. <laughs> I, I am the, uh, the... Piggy, uh, Miller's daughter, and uh, I am uh, Miller, uh, Piggy's father, your majesty. Oh, no, I'm not the majesty. You're the majesty, and this is my daughter, Piggy, and this is... Oh, thanks, I needed that. Uh, oh. ah, here's the beauty part, your highness. The pig can spin straw into gold. Astounding. How do you perform such a marvelous feat? Ah, beats the heck out <gasps> I mean, it's an old family secret. <laughs> yes, and to prove it, she's going to spin us a room full of gold. I am. Wow. I am, I am. Come uh, along, my dear. Come well, along. Until tomorrow, then. Oh, uh, goodbye, my kingy. Yes. Uh, to the uh, Hasta come. Luego. Uh, your majesty. Well, that was my cue. I'm in this next scene. Wish me luck. Break a leg. Thanks. <laughs> and so... Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. 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 And so the loyal royal advisor took Piggy to a room filled with straw. Listen, sister, I've got a castle riding on this. Turn this straw into gold, or you'll spend your not so happily ever after in the dungeon. Oh, oh dear! I would give anything if I could spin straw into gold. Wow! <laughs> Did I hear you say that you'd give? Anything? Who are you? Whoa, you'll never know. <laughs> huh, is something burning in here? Oh, it's only me. <clears throat> what a weird little man. Ah, no time for compliments. I've got to spin all this straw into gold. <gasps> you will? Wonderful. For a fee, of course. A fee? Mm-hmm. Now, how about that lovely little necklace you're wearing? Whatever you say, weirdo. <gasps> Wow, this is gonna go perfect with my tattered moss-covered outfit. <laughs> you sure you know what you're doing? Of course I do. Uh, 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 I got a license. Uh, uh. Ah! Ah! And so the weird little man spun straw into gold all through the night. This isn't some sort of trick. But, 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 Let's play it safe. I'll keep an eye on this gold while you spin another room full of gold. What? Another room full of gold or the dungeon. Bring in more straw. Oh, no. You weird little man. Where are you? You. <laughs> Way to travel. You called? Oh, yes. Please, will you spin all this straw into gold? Just one more time, please. Mm, for a 
Ruffy. Well, well, of course. Um, how about this bracelet right here? Hmm? Nah, cubic zirconium. But I'll tell you what I will do. What? When you become queen... Yes? ...and have a baby... Yes? ...you give the child to me. Okay. Wait a second! Are you out of your mind? I, I mean, I could never... I would never... Another room full of gold? Or the dungeon? Oh, alas! I have no choice. <laughs> Marvelous! Now, down to work. And so, the weird little man once again spun straw into gold. And the very next morning... shall be my queen. Yeah. Yes! And so the king married Piggy and made her queen. The loyal royal advisor got his castle, and everyone lived happily ever after, until one glorious day when oh. Queen Piggy had a child. <laughs> Time to pay up. Oh, oh, no, 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 you stay away from my baby. We have a oh, bargain. Oh, no, please. Oh, all please, right. Please, I can't please, stand please. to see a pig grovel. I'll let you keep the child <gasps> if, and I just love this part, if you can guess my name. Whoa. Oh, that's easy. Mm -hmm. it's so Go ahead, then. You're good old dumb. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you say your name was again? I didn't. And if you can't guess it by tomorrow, then the child is mine. <laughs> Queen Piggy realized she was going to need help on this one. So she called together the king, the loyal royal advisor, and her father, and she told them the whole truth. And that's the whole truth? <laughs> so you're telling us you never spun the straw into gold? Uh-uh. Okay, that's it. To the dungeon. Uh, wait, stop. Now, I didn't marry Piggy because she could spin straw into gold. You, you didn't? didn't? No. I married her because I love her. <gasps> you do? Yeah. Hey, chill. Oh, Kingy! Oh, uh, uh, oh, uh, uh, not now, oh. Piggy. There's work to do. We must learn the name of that weird little man. Hmm. Ernie, your Bill, is it Calvin or Don? Ernie, your Fred, is it George, is it Han? Igor or Jed, maybe Kevin or Lon? Melvin or Ned, how long can this go on? Otto, Pedro, Quasi, Ron, Bill, Ted, Holman, Will, Zeno, King, Son, Son. Maybe not. How about Scott? Maybe Leroy. Just plain Roy? Just plain Lee. How many days can there be? Let's start with a bee. Gotta get that name, 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 gotta get From all the way to Zorro, when we started with a... Melvin Malice in the palace, we got that thing. We just got to get that. You might as well forget it, cause you're never gonna get it. Alas, no one could guess the weird little man's name, and so it seemed that the queen would be forced to give up her child. Oh, 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 gotta get that fixed. Oh, I'm back! Oh, no, I will not give you the child. We have a bargain. It is simply not fair. Fair? Hey, 
hey, if life was fair, would I look like this? Would my mother have sent me away to camp every summer until I was 18? Would I have a name like... <gasps> oh, no, you don't. Mm. Wait, 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 wait. Hmm? Did you say you went to summer camp? Yep, Camp Weirdo, every July and August. Good at crafts, lousy at sports. Grab him! Ah, ah, wait, ah, hey, ah, hey! See, 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 hey, a good please. mother always sews her kids' names inside their clothes before sending them off to camp. So, so, okay. look at the label and says, go. take that, Mr. Ralph Lauren! Uh -huh. <laughs> nope. Uh. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong label, wrong uh, label. You, it says... Uh, Rumpelstiltskin? Oh, that is not fair! Oh, that is not fair! And so Piggy guessed the weird little man's name, and everyone lived happily ever after. Except, of course, for Rumpelstiltskin. This is an outrage! Bring down the curtain! That was mortifying! Bring down the curtain! But, but, but you're not allowed to touch those ropes! Who cares? for watching. We'll see you next time when you'll hear Rizzo say... Uh, when do we eat? Later, Rizzo. Right now, it's time to polka! <laughs> <laughs>couldn't afford new? No, I mean, oh. yes. Listen, these are old stories everybody knows and loves. I don't know. Seems like a scam. I mean, you buy a new tape and you get old stories everybody's already heard. Oh, will you be uh, quiet? <laughs> Our next tale is that timeless classic. I'm back. Oh, nice work. <laughs> <clears throat> Our next tale is that timeless classic, The Elves and the Shoemaker. Hey, a story about Elvis? Oh, no, no, no Rizzo, not Elvis. Elves. Elvis is the king of rock and roll. Mm. Elves are sprite-like creatures with magical powers. Elvis with magical powers? Cool. Brother. Wah. Once upon a time, in a land called... Memphis. Uh, yeah, okay. In a land called Memphis, there lived a poor shoemaker and his good-hearted nephew and apprentice, Robin. Times were bad for the shoemaker. 
And one sad day, the local banker came round to demand his money. Who is it? It is I, the local banker. I demand half my money by tomorrow, or I'll toss you out in the street. <laughs> uh, in that case, we're not home. What? Ugh, I shall be back tomorrow. Oh, and, uh, by the way, you make really ugly shoes. <laughs> we're not home? You think he bought it? Probably not. No one ever buys anything around here. Mm, gee. I wonder why. Well, it could be because we make these really ugly shoes. Ugly? Why, these are the most beautiful shoes I've ever seen. Why, just oh. this week I bought six pair. Dear nephew, you are both kind and nearsighted. But since no one else will buy these shoes, all is lost. There's nothing more to do. Yes, there is. There is? We can wish for a miracle. Oh, but miracles just don't happen in the real world. But this is a fairy tale. You could have a point there. You call Mother Goose. I'll write to Santa. Then if the Easter Bunny isn't on yes, vacation, yes, dear nephew, we can... We can do all those things tomorrow. But for now, let's just get some rest, OK? Oh, I wonder if the Tooth Fairy knows anything about shoes. <sighs> What was that? That was the sound of a miracle. That was the sound of... Elvis! That is not Elvis. Those are just oddly dressed elves come to help the shoemaker. Yeah, right. All right, fella. Let's take care of business. One. Two, uh, one, two, three. Well, how you feeling? I'm feeling cause your feet won't work. When I play a bop and boogie, does your body start to jerk? Mm -hmm. How's the rock of a fever? I got your tussle on the line. Sing it up, baby, make you feel all right. We got a special kind of level that'll plan a little rhythm and shoot. So listen to the news. Yeah, no more bad shoe blues. Any old rhythm you choose, you got your blue suede through bad, there. Bad. There's a little scissor gonna snip it like a snapping fool. Yeah, there's a little thimble gonna click it till the fit feels cool. Well, you can rock it to the socket, you can play like a slater. And the way you cut it, gotta cut it out sweet. Now, listen to the news. No more bad shoe blues. Any old rhythm you choose, you got your book suede. Bad, bad. Bad shoes blues, all right. Bad, bad, bad shoes blues. Well, now you got a new prescription, make your boogie all night. Uh -huh. Boogie in the basement till the ball delight. Oh, yeah. Rock a bill of baby, gonna shout hooray. You're the one to save her from a bad shoe deal. The best kind of leather, uh -huh. and put a little rhythm uh -huh. in your shoes. Uh -huh. So listen to the news. No, no more bad shoe blues. Any old rhythm you choose, you got your blue suede shoes. Oh, yeah. That's right, let's stitch it up, fellas. Mercy. Oh, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. No, 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 thank you. I'd like to thank you. No, I'd like to thank the both of you. Well, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. That was wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, the elves have left the building. Would you cut that out? Ahem. The next morning, the shoemaker and his nephew awoke to a most amazing discovery. Uncle! Dear Uncle! Hmm? Come quick! Come quick! Uh, what is it, nephew? Look uh, at all these beautiful blue suede, suede shoes. shoes! How could that have happened? It's the miracle I asked for! Miracle? Could it be? And look! Customers! Customers? <laughs> that is a miracle! Yeah! Uh, uh, oh Welcome! Boy. Come uh, in! Come in, everybody! Yes, absolutely. Uh, sure, yeah, try sure. it on. Uh, please. Oh, please. let me help. Be our guest. Yeah. Listen, Excuse could you... Excuse uh, me. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, uh, you sure. Yeah, those sure. are good choice, ma'am. Night fell. Ooh, very, very nice. Thank you. And when the last customers had left, <laughs> every shoe in the what? shop had oh. been sold. <laughs> what are you quit fooling around? Wow. Look at this money, dear mm. uncle. It's a miracle. Mm. It's a wonder. It's the banker. Mm. I'll be back tomorrow for the other half of my money. Hmm. Oh. But 
Alas, we'll never come up with more money before tomorrow. We could wish for another miracle. Huh? Then maybe whoever helped us last night will come back again tonight. Oh, yeah. And if they do, we'll be right here to find out who they are. <laughs> The two tired frogs soon fell fast asleep. Oh. But at exactly midnight, they awoke. Oh, what a wondrous sight they saw! Well, we'd like to dedicate these shoes... ...to a couple of swell frogs. The shoemaker and his nephew, Robin. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Thank, well, well, well. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. A one, a two, a one, two, three! and his nephew watched in amazement. The elves snipped and scissored and sang all through the night until the shoemaker's shop was once again filled with blue suede shoes. No, thank you. And when morning came, the shop was once again packed with a crowd of eager customers. Yes. Now, you sure you don't need that shoe on? Okay. You come back now. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Oh, boy. We are rich. <laughs> I'll take that. Hmm. Oh. Uh, we are poor. No, we're not, dear nephew, because I have been studying these blue suede shoes, and now I know how to make shoes that are not really ugly. Yay! Oh, nephew, those elves have been so very good to us, I think the time has come to thank them for their kindness. Oh, but what can we give them? Um, yeah, excuse me, uh, but why don't you, uh... He's kidding, right? Oh, it sounds pretty neat to me. Oh, why not? Thank you. My pleasure. And so, the shoemaker and his nephew worked through the night, making a special gift with which to thank the elves. And when midnight came, and the elves arrived, they were met with a great big surprise! surprise. Oh, 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 heavens. Oh, oh. Hey there, guys. Hey, listen, to thank you for all of your help, we've made you something very, very special. White sequin jumpsuit. Ta -da. Mercy. Oh, mercy. Oh, oh, look at that gold. Real polyester. Her mom's got a cape. Oh, oh. We just guessed the sizes. Yep. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you, you very much. much. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is... <laughs> white sequin jumpsuits? Yeah. Rizzo, white sequin jumpsuits are not in the story. They are now. You see, thanks to those elves, the shoemaker and his nephew lived happily ever after. Yes, but what about the elves? What happened to the elves? Well, inspired by the white sequin jumpsuits, the elves decided to relocate to Las Vegas. Hmm. And today they are huge stars who played a big room at the palace. Two shows daily, no cover, no minimum. Well, now you got a new prescription, make your boogie all night. You might even say the elves left shoe business for show business. <laughs> oh, Rizzo, you're unbelievable. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, friends, that's all for now. Until next time, so long. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 See ya. Make your boogie all night. Uh -huh. Boogie in the basement till the ball daylight. Uh -huh. Rock a billy baby, gonna shout hooray. You're the one to save her from a bad shoot, dear. You know the best kind of leather. Uh -huh. Put a little rhythm in uh -huh. your yeah. So listen to the news. No more bad shoot blues. Any old rhythm you choose, you got your blue suede no shoes. Oh, yeah. That's Thank right, you. let's stitch it up, fellas. Oh, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. No, 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 thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you down there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.